Jake Paul calls Erica Costell on New Year's. KSI reacts to Logan Paul's editor dissing him. Plus, FouseyTube reveals where he's been since leaving social media. Hey guys, it's Devante for Hollywood Life. Welcome to 2019. It's gonna be an amazing year, or at least that's what Cameron Dallas thinks. The 24-year-old YouTuber kicked off the new year by posting a mugshot to social media, and it's literally the definition of weird flex, but okay. However, the mugshot confirms Cameron's arrest for an alleged assault at a hotel in Aspen that left a man with a bloody nose on Saturday morning. In the caption of the post, Cameron describes the situation as self-defense. He was released on $5,000 bond and is reported to appear in court on January 22nd, 2019. But okay, on to a more serious note, YouTuber FouseyTube resurfaced on Instagram to deliver a very long and heartbreaking message to his fans. Here's the TLDR. Fousey explains that last summer he suffered a public and humiliating manic episode after coming off medication for the first time in years. After that, he hit rock bottom and lost all his money, cars, public respect, self-respect, and almost his parents' home. He's been through a spiritual journey, countless therapies, therapy sessions and on and off different meds, but says that his path to recovery has quote, no end date in sight. The content creator describes his mental state as not healthy enough to be on social media, so it's safe to say this might be the last time we hear from him in a while. Our thoughts are with Fousey as he works towards a full recovery. In other news, Deji is trying to make a recovery of his own. The vlogger has continued to gather up a bunch of dislikes and hate in the past week following the Christmas Twitter fiasco with Big Bro KSI. And apparently the hate is getting so bad that his parents parents were forced to make a video addressing the situation on Deji's channel. According to his parents, fans have started to show up at their house and they're having real concerns about their own safety. The couple urges fans to stop spreading hate and let KSI and Deji handle this on their own. Users in the comment section of the video blame the brothers for making the matter public, but regardless, that does not mean it's okay to vandalize their home. Moving on to KSI, the YouTuber dropped a new video on his gaming channel and also announced that he will be returning to his old ways of making FIFA videos. While the comment section was filled with praise, not everyone was thrilled with KSI's return to the game. The Bread Batch posted about the news, and Logan Paul's editor, Hayden Hillier Smith, jumped into the comments and said KSI is getting back to his old content because of his irrelevancy and realization that he lacks talent. He continues by accusing KSI of trying to monetize off nostalgia. KSI clapped back at Hayden and said, quote, you edited a video of Logan Paul filming a suicide victim. You have no right to talk. Oh, snap. KSI's editor also entered the fray, criticizing Hayden on his spelling error and points out that Logan Paul tried playing Fortnite to quote, be relevant again after what he did. Something tells me these editors are gonna be dropping subliminal jabs in their next videos. But okay, let's talk about Jake Paul for a sec because the vlogger tried to call Erica Costell on New Year's Eve, but unfortunately, she didn't pick up. The heartbroken JP captioned his screenshot, quote, no New Year's kiss for me. Today, Jake tweeted, hopeless romantic, and I can only imagine just how many times he's watched the Dynamite video since it dropped. But all right, guys, you know the deal. Hit that sub, like, and bell button and comment what you were doing when the New Year rang in. Were you also trying to call your ex? Let us know. Later.